It's considered a rare disaster, but one we are far too familiar with in our area. Train safety is in the spotlight after two trains went off the rails in a span of a month in Ohio, one that involved toxic chemicals. What happens if something like that happens here? WDAY News reporter Sam Getzinger spoke with first responders and found out how they prepare for the worst. Sam. Yeah, Dana and Kirsten, in a given year, the Bureau of Transportation says more than 1,700 train derailments happen on tracks, just like the ones behind me, all over the country. Now, not all of them result in injuries or are they fatal, but as we have learned firsthand, right in our own backyard, that they can cause some serious problems. These images of derailments are burned into people's minds in our area. Minot involving anhydrous ammonia in 2002. Castleton in 2013 involving crude oil. Heimdall west of Devil's Lake also involving crude oil in 2015. An explosive derailment in Callaway in 2016. Top of my mind right now is tornadoes. Uh, and right after tornadoes is train derailment. Trains leaving the tracks is more common than you may realize. The latest major derailment near Springfield, Ohio on Monday, just over a month from the devastating derailment in East Palestine involving polyvinyl chloride that impacted residents even miles away. This is a huge local impact. It's, it's uh, sometimes it could be generational with the chemicals that are involved or whatnot. The economic impact is huge. So, uh, you know, it's, it's a difficult situation, but again, rare occurrence. Chief Fuller was on scene when 31 cars derailed in Minot in 2002, spreading poisonous and hydrous ammonia gas across the city. One person died. 11 years later, another disaster in Castleton, a grain-filled train colliding with another train hauling crude oil from the west. That this is something that as a state we're, we're always uh, paying attention to, planning and training for. It certainly is something that we're glad we don't have to deal with on every day, but we are prepared to if we need to. When things do go off the rails, how do first responders know how to react? Well, surprisingly, there's an app for that. Um, I mean, the, the suite of, of resources, online resources for us, is just ever-expanding. It's all the way down to just picking out your phone right now, just getting on an app from the federal government and saying, this is what I have, and it walks you through step-by-step step what to do. It's really cool. Chief Fuller also tells me that if a hazardous disaster does happen close to home, if there is a shelter in place alert, make sure to go to your bathroom, shut off the furnace, shut off the exhaust fans, put some wet towels underneath the door so the chemicals can't come in. And the best thing that you can do is just listen to the officials that are trying to direct you throughout this hazardous disaster. In downtown Fargo, Sam Getzinger, WDAY News.